Okay, Paul, so here's your lesson um, we have on the uh, caddy view, which is primarily when you look at the, uh, the picture from the front and we kind of look at these two different swings and um, these are not on a tripod, so both of which you keep the weight forward, uh, you get a little bit loss of extension while doing this because you're not thinking of it uh, with the arms. But uh, I want you to watch what we're working on because that wasn't really a priority, um, so to speak. So this is with the feeling like your arms are a little straighter over here on the right. So this would be number one. And you still had your hips the furthest forward, which is fine. We're trying to push our weight forward most so you don't cut it because normally what happens is you start to rotate and not transfer. So you can already see your right shoulder kind of come out. You're keeping your left shoulder down, which is good, both of these, but because the weight just goes kind of at a static, non-linear fashion, body and the hips stop turning. And you can kind of see why I put a red line off your toe. The difference in where your hip is and your left shoulder. I'll put a dot here on your left shoulder so you can kind of see it. Your left shoulder is back here, a couple inches away from where the toe is. So the knee and the hip don't get far enough forward. And this is pretty common with individuals that are slicing it. Now, because of the arm position, you can kind of see your right elbow. Take it right down almost this is about where your release point should be. You can see how the club is already lower. So the club is already here. And as you come into impact, about the same position, you still have a little bit, you're throwing away a little bit. This is right here. This angle should be here. But not a primary concern, because when you get to impact, you actually have the handle forward and you're leaning it. When you go to this picture, you see how you're cupping your wrist and you've uh, stayed back. Okay. And these are all adding to a pull cut. So you can see how the right leg is more bent, the left leg is a straightening, and your hips are actually getting away from the red line and your arms are getting closer to you. Okay. Now as you go to this point, you're leaning the handle more, handle's getting more forward. See how all this starts to stretch out. Okay. All right. So then the next piece after that, which we're not really going to get into because this isn't a primary concern, is that we have to start learning to get completely off at this point, our weight off our right foot, and let this right leg straighten out as much as possible. Okay. We can't do that from tilting back. We can't do that for not letting our weight get to our left foot. That would be a, a big goal. Okay. So, hopefully that makes sense. Do the down the line pieces. Actually, before I do that, let's get a back position look. That was a punch shot. Okay. Just trying to stay down and try to punch the ball in ground with the left shoulder down, not coming up, and getting your weight the furthest forward. You can see how much more forward your handle's getting here. Okay? So this is one of the reasons why we, we didn't see you take divots. So this is the way to make the maximum divot, uh, you know, in any golf ball. So, okay, we'll go back to this one. prioritizing here. I know you see some stuff you might not like, but I'm just going to prioritize with this position kind of the same. Now, as I said right off the get-go, the shoulder tilts are pretty good. Okay, so you're keeping your shoulders steeper, which is good. You'll see also how this left arm is slightly more in, and you can look at that where the shaft is coming down through the almost 
the base of the right arm, but not quite. So right here, this is your bicep. Right here, the shaft is coming out a little bit higher, and the arm is a little more out. Take a couple clicks down. You can see when that shaft gets parallel to the ground, right about there, you see how that club starts to tip out. So this is a really important piece when it comes to power because if you were to look at this, this club head is closer to the ball. Now this club head is more in and further from the ball. Now amazingly this is all because of where your weight is. Your weight is too far back and your hips are turning too fast. We'll have some issues. Now as you see you come down to the ball, you're going to start hitting the ball quicker, just slightly on the right and on the left. Okay. You'll see how the club goes left. The one on the right stays going down the line a little bit longer before it goes around the corner. Now here, you know, this picture here, I'd like to see your legs straighten out a little bit more and allowing your hips to go forward. So hopefully this makes sense. If you have any questions, just let me know.